Up to this point we have looked at a lot of examples of adding and subtracting numbers in the videos we've done so far. Um, I just want to do one more example of subtraction um, for the purpose of introducing an important concept to understand going forward in this class and even more so um, just setting you up for success in algebra since most of you will be going to some form of algebra after this class. So this concept that we want to introduce here is that of evaluating an expression. So it's saying that we need to evaluate this expression x minus y. So first of all they give us letters here instead of numbers and so whenever we're using letters like this we refer to these as variables because the value that you can assign to these letters varies. And so that's why we call it a variable. And the way to think of them is they're kind of, think of them as empty containers waiting to have a number placed into them. So when it says evaluate the expression x minus y for x equals 83,018 and, and y equals 69,479, they're essentially giving us which numbers they want us to put in those empty containers. So I'm literally just going to write out 83,018 instead of x and 69,479 instead of y. And from this point we know what to do. We set up our vertical subtraction problem, lining up our place values, putting the larger number on top, and then we proceed with our subtraction. So I'll go through this part a little quicker than I have in the past. 8 is smaller than 9, so I will borrow 1 from the tens place, add 10 to the ones place. 18 minus 9 is 9. Again, 0 is smaller than 7, so I'm going to have to bump over. But notice there's nothing that I can borrow here. Right? So in, when that happens, now you look at the next two digits together. They form the number 30. So we will borrow 1 from 30, leaving us with 29. And now that allows me to turn that 0 into a 10. So 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 4 is 5. 2 minus 9, can't do that. Oops, just notice I forgot my subtraction symbol there. Uh, 2 minus 9 can't do that because 2 is less than 9. So we'll borrow 1 from the 10 thousands place, making that a 7. Turn my 12, 2 into a 12. 12 minus 9 is 3. 7 minus 6 is 1. So this expression, x minus y, evaluated for x equals 83,018 and y equals 69,479 is this number, 13,539.